Fighting Wisconsin is 0-10. It's the first winless season in the PSAC West since 1968. 2015 was a down year for the Edinburgh football team, a winless season. It was quarterback Jake Sisson's first year as starting quarterback, and it didn't go according to plan. Disappointing. Uh, you know, we came out, uh, played each game that we thought we'd win, and just to come up on the short end every single time, you know, it was very disappointing for us. You take those outside negativity, and you try to take it and motivate yourself to get better. And so that's what I really do when people start talking bad about me outside. I uh, pretty much just ignore it, and then use those people and try to get better and prove wrong. Edinburgh brought in a new coaching staff for the 2016 season. They hired Justin Lustig to be their head coach, and a new group of coaches meant a new offensive coordinator for Sisson. Uh, my first impression was like, you know, these guys are bringing a lot of energy compared to uh, last year. And so with that kind of energy, you know, it really jumpstarted us to really work a lot harder with uh, energy and focus, you know, came a lot of discipline, which is what I think was key to getting better this year. The new coaching staff had faith in Sisson and they noticed a fire in him. Oh, he's, he's a guy that is just really level-headed. Um, he doesn't ride uh, an emotional roller coaster during the game. I mean, there's times where he throws a touchdown and times where he throws an interception, and when he comes off the field, he's got that same look in his eye, like, okay, coach, what, what's the adjustment? What do I need to do? So I think his um, kind of emotional stability is, is really uh, takes the pressure off of him, and uh, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm like some kind of guru that came in here and taught him, taught him anything, uh, you know, too out, too out of this world. Um, I think we're doing a really good job of just throwing the ball on time and putting it in, in the place where it's supposed to go. Um, and then Coach Corey's done a great job with the offensive line and keeping him protected. So I think he feels, you know, um, secure back there. And then uh, Coach Watson's done a great job with the wide receivers. Uh, they're running very crisp routes. They're in the place that they need to be. And, uh, and so I think that's making life a little bit easier for Jake. The one thing that really stands out is his work ethic. He is constantly in our building, watching film, you know, working with the receivers on his own extra. And, uh, you know, we've used the term gym rat with him, and he's a gym rat. He's a guy that likes to just be around it. But Jake, I mean, you know he's in here watching. You know he's doing everything he can to prepare um, himself to, to the best of his ability. So it makes you feel very comfortable as a coach that you got a guy uh, at the most important position on the offense that's uh, going to be ready and prepared. The season was looming. All of the memories, all the negativity that was spit in the faces of the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. They were off to a 2-0 start of the year, and it was time to show the home crowd the improvements in dramatic fashion. Fourth down, double overtime against the PSAC East's projected number one team. Four receivers in. Walter Fletcher motions to Sisson's left. Jake. Takes the snap. Snap is good. Going end zone for Kiratelli. Has a man. Yes! Catches it! Edinburgh wins! Edinburgh wins! Alex Kiratelli catches it in the corner of the end zone! You know, team, you know, we stepped up both times, scored a touchdown. And uh, especially that last touchdown pass, I and mean, we all went nuts. And just to see the crowd react, and it was such a great win for us. This confirmed Edinburgh was back. The offense started to click. With that all offense put together, I mean, you can see that we've been scoring points and it just makes life a lot easier when you to execute. In came the conference and national accolades, but Sisson has always credited the team around him. Uh, you know, it's 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 nice recognition. Um, I mean, clearly they focus on me, but 
to me, that's just how well our offense has been playing. You know, with the all line blocking, giving me time, the receivers making plays, uh, Fletcher and Rios and uh, Rob Bell out of the backfield. You know, they're making plays for us, even in the run game. You know, whether we need them to make a play. And so, really, to me, I really don't focus on it all that much. But when I do get it, I take it. And I, you know, it's our offense that's making it. You know, I'd our offense is the piece that offense play of the week. In his second year as a starter, Jake Sisson has grown into a true leader of this Fighting Scouts football team. He's going to lead by example, uh, and I think that's certainly stood out. He's a guy that, uh, like I said, he works hard and is doing extra to, to make himself the best player he could be.